Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you how I put together a budget-friendly homework station for my girls. It's that time of year again, it is back to school time and I can't believe it, but all three of my girls are in school this year. I have one in grade five, one in grade three, and my littlest is starting kindergarten. It's so bittersweet. I thought it was the perfect year to put together a little homework station for them, a quiet little area down in our basement where they can do work or crafts. I want to thank The Brick for partnering with me on this video, for sponsoring this video today. They also partnered with me earlier this year to put together a basement playroom with a beautiful entertainment unit, a sofa that we already had from The Brick. I will link to that project down in the description box below. This station is right beside our entertainment unit down in the basement and it is small and cute but still totally functional, so budget friendly. The two pieces that I used here from the brick are very budget friendly, plus there's a couple of upcycled DIYs here as well which make the whole thing inexpensive but very functional. Let me show you how I made it. I started to create this space with this adorable North Avenue desk from the brick. Not only is it the perfect compact size for our little spot, it is such a great price. I will make sure to link it down in the description box below and it depends on where you live as to how much it costs. I love its neutral wood color paired with the black metal legs and I think it's such a great match for our modern farmhouse style basement. The shelves beneath the worktop are a great location for a basket of things like headphones, pencil cases, and chargers, along with our laptop case. For extra storage on top of the desk, I created a simple DIY magazine holder out of a cereal box, Mod Podge, and wrapping paper. It was such an easy and cheap DIY and it holds some paper, notebooks, and file folders for the girls. So to create this, take a large bulk size cereal box and then mark about five inches from the bottom of one of the skinnier sides and then you can make a line from that mark on the side of the box to the top of the other side of the box. I just used a little marker to make all of these marks. Next use scissors or a craft knife and cut along the marks to create a file folder shape. Then I took some wrapping paper that I had on hand. I love this floral for my girl's desk. And then start taking some Mod Podge. I just used some matte Mod Podge and just use a foam brush to put it on top of the cereal box and then just smooth some of the wrapping paper over top. You can leave a couple inches at the bottom of the box and a couple at the top because later you can kind of fold those in place almost like you're wrapping a gift and use more Mod Podge to put those in place. Once you're finished wrapping the whole box with the wrapping paper and pasting it onto the box with the Mod Podge, you can trim off any excess paper, fold over any edges that you want, and you're all done.
A comfy chair is essential to any work area and this Prado dining chair from The Brick is comfortable and so cute. I loved its molded seat and mid-century modern good looks and it's a great contrast to the new desk. It's also a fantastic price and I will link that also in the description box below so it keeps this little area budget friendly but so cute. I think the scale of it is perfect too. It's not too big, it tucks nicely under the desk, and it's the ideal size for my girls when they use the space. Another quick and easy DIY for this homework station is this painted bulletin board that serves as kind of a movable gallery wall over the desk. It could also display calendars and paperwork, but for now I love the art, faux florals, and DIY macrame piece I pinned here. So for this DIY, just take any old bulletin board that you have on hand. I think I've had this one for like 10 years. Um, I've used it to create a different DIY where I put fabric on it. So I just removed the fabric, I repainted the base of the corkboard, uh, just a nice white color with some white chalk paint, and then I painted the frame with a charcoal colored extra latex paint that I had on hand. And then I just took some artwork that I already had and used some tacks and pinned it onto the bulletin board. I also pinned this little DIY mini macrame piece that I had. I will link to this DIY down in the description box below. I thought it looked really great on this bulletin board. And then I also, as a finishing touch, pinned some faux peonies and greenery onto this board. I love creating little gallery walls like this with lots of texture. So when you're creating a gallery wall, think not only of art you can add, but also some 3D items like a macrame piece or some florals or clocks or anything that's going to add some more texture and interest to a gallery wall. To help keep my girls motivated and organized, I also placed an inexpensive letter board on the desk with a fun quote. I also have an old mason jar here to store scissors and pens and a couple of other fun accessories. When my oldest daughter, Little C, saw this desk for the first time, she was so thrilled, which made me so happy. She immediately sat down to begin writing her next story in her notebook. I know you, lots of you guys feel the same way, but I love it when I don't have to spend a ton of money to put together a cute and functional space that my family loves. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed this homework station idea. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of it, how you would do it differently, or what your favorite part was. Thanks again to the brick, did I say that already? Thanks again to the brick for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home decor ideas on a budget. And I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you're going to enjoy right up here.